Hello everybody. In this video, I would like to give you an idea about a simple but a very useful tip with which you can save a lot of time and effort. But before we move on to the video, I would like to remind you to subscribe to my channel. For that, just visit youtube.com slash sabircad and click on the subscribe button so that you will get alerts on your smartphone as well as on your email whenever I upload a new video. You may also visit sabircad.com, my website, to get interesting information about the case studies related with CAD projects. You can also download a number of free stuffs like 2D AutoCAD blocks, 3D blocks, and isometric drawings and 3D models, etc. In this video, I would like to share with you a simple tip using which we can store blocks in the tools palette. Thereby, you can easily access any desired blocks while you perform drafting or modeling. You know that blocks can tremendously improve the efficiency of your work because these objects will not only let you combine more than one object into a single object, but you can perform any last minute changes using the concept of reference editing. And you can also give some additional functionality on these blocks using the concept of dynamic blocks. Please click on the upper right corner of this video if you are not familiar with the basics of blocks. I also presume that you have a basic idea about the tools palette. If you are not familiar with the tools palette, please click on the upper right corner of this video to get a basic understanding of the concept and application of tools palette. Now let me come to the subject. Here I have two drawings opened. In this particular drawing, I have created a number of blocks. Now if I go to insert tab and if I click on the insert command, I can see the pictorial representation of all the blocks which I have created in this drawing. Now I have got one more drawing opened and even in this drawing when you go through it and you can see that there are a number of blocks created. So these are the blocks. But you will get the real use of blocks if you can make the best use of these blocks in any drawings. There should also be a method by which you will be able to share these blocks with your friends and colleagues. And that is done with the help of tool palettes. Now let me just open this file. It is a blank drawing. Now I will press Ctrl 3 to get the tool palettes. Here I am going to create a new tool palette in which I will be storing all the required blocks. So I will just right click here and just click on new palette and I will call this palette as my blocks. You can give any suitable name. Okay, this is the palette. It's an empty palette right now. Now I would like to go into the block table areas of these two drawings which I've opened just now and I would like to take all the desired blocks and keep it on the new tool palette so that these blocks will become handy and you'll be able to use it as an event required instantly. For that, I'll go to the design center. So design center is an interface which will let you share any content from a particular drawing to any other drawing. So I'll just press Control 2, you just hold on the Control key and the 2 key simultaneously to get the design center interface. Now I'll go to desktop. Here I have kept this particular file which is called tp1 in a particular folder. When you double click on the drawing file, you will see all the table areas. Like you have the block table area, you have layer table area. Suppose you want to take a particular layer from this drawing, all you have to do is just double click on the layer and you can just drag and drop this particular layer onto this drawing. Suppose I want to take the landscape layer, so just drag and drop it here. And now when you look at the layers palette, you can see that the landscape layer is created automatically with the properties given. Now I'll just go back and I'll go to the blocks. I would like to get a particular block from here and I would like to keep it in the new tool palette. Now the shrub I need, so just drag and drop the shrub over here, that will appear here. Now I need this grass for landscaping and uh, I need this palm tree. Let me go to the next drawing which is TP2 which is open here. So I'll just double click on that. Now I'll go to the block table area. Now you can see all the blocks which you have created. I would like to get some furniture from this drawing first. So I'll just drag this uh, dining table. It's given a different name so I'll just rename it to identify it properly. So I'll just go to rename. I'll call it as dining table. Now I'll take this uh, round table with chairs. I'll again rename this into round table. I'll take some cars. So I'll drag drop this car symbol into this. 
and rename it again and I'll call it as car1 and I would like to access one more car and I'll call it as car2 the name is given properly here so I don't have to rename it now I'll close the design center interface now you have stored all the desired blocks into the tool palette suppose I want the shrub to be used you just drag drop the shrub onto this you can also access the grass simply by dragging drop now this tool palette which you have created can be shared among your friends and colleagues so please go through my video on tool palette which you can get by simply clicking on the upper right corner of the screen if you're not familiar with it I hope this tip will let you save a lot of time and effort thanks for your patience and time until we meet again in the next video bye bye and take care Peace be upon you all.